Hey guys, this is Grey Wolf back at you again with another episode of Fallout 4 Modded Survival. Doing a Institute playthrough. We left off, we were here in uh, Diamond City. Unfortunately, with the things going on, uh, it's been a little bit since I've gotten to play, so I know what we were getting ready to do immediately because of where I'm standing, which you'll see here in a second. Uh, but I don't remember exactly what was next. So we'll probably, well, since we're already here, let's just look at the data and see what we were going to do. See, Dangerous Mind, okay. We were doing some just oddball quests, weren't we? Let's see, nope, 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 nope. Mm, we were thinking about doing that one. Nope. Mm, well, we could go up and do that one. Nope. Ah, this right here is what we're getting ready to do. Search for tech and boss and mayoral shelter. And we'll highlight it. Check the, the cases. No, because that's some DLC that I don't want to do just yet. Okay. So, it looks like then we're going to... I think we're going to head towards Good Neighbor. Because heading towards Good Neighbor should be... Uh, it's going to be a challenge. Because I think it's mostly super mutants in, ta in the city. So it'll be a challenge. But maybe that'll also help us uh, gain experience that way. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to good old Sheffield here. Hey, buddy, how are you? Thirsty, new Coca-Cola. <laughs> uh... You want a soda? Is that it? You want a soda? Is that it? Wouldn't kill you to help the guy. Dugout Inn usually has some, but I can't go there. Can't be around booze. Doctor says I can't drink that. Here you go. Common decency. What a pleasant change. <gasps> oh, pleasant thank change? You. Thank you! When have I given Nick... Let me ask you something. Sure, ask away. Sure, ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. What do you ask? Uh, doesn't really matter. I'm here now. I've just got to deal with that. I don't know, Nick. My family's in tatters. I've been dropped into this place where everything's trying to kill me. You tell me. Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, I'm alright. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Uh, broken mask? Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. When security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets. Just like yours truly. Mm. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. No kidding. Massacre of CBG, what's that? Yeah, let's ask that too. M massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. Mm. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Uh, understandable. Why would you want to live among bigots like that? I don't know if that's a negative question, though. 
if he would consider that negative. Meh. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand. She'd, uh, <clears throat> no, for an evening. <laughs> Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl before Thomas. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. You took down four guys by yourself? Sure, why not? You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode. And started going, <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. <laughs> You're not a spy, right? Testing. Testing, hello, Institute. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, I might have to ask that one anyway. Why oh, would you stay in a place where you clearly weren't wanted? Was it hard selling it? Here, I gotta, I gotta ask this one. Hopefully, it won't offend him. You're not a spy, right? Testing, testing, hello, Institute. Can you hear me? Well, if I know, <laughs> I am. The Institute's plan to gather intel on all the runaways of the Commonwealth has been going off without a hitch. Uh, I think this is a legitimate question. We'll ask him. Why would you want to stay in a place you clearly weren't wanted? Well, there were times I seriously considered going. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife hmm. runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her. Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. <laughs> After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth. But it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. With some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Oh, I didn't get to ask that last question. Anyway, as I've said many, 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 many times before, He's my favorite companion, and uh, his story's pretty good. I like his story. Now, where'd Sheffield go? There was another question I needed to ask him. Dad, gone it. Where'd he go? He might be back here. Well, wrong way. He might be back here in the back where the beds are. Then, as soon as I talk to him again, well, ooh, I really need to uh, go somewhere and lay down. <laughs> Let's see, I can't hear. Sheffield, nope. Sheffield, nope. Well, crud, I'm not seeing him back here anywhere. Nope, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? I know we're not doing settlements uh, in this playthrough, but still. And I know it's just a game, but... I thought I'd still offer. <laughs> really? You... You mean it? Well, what do you say? What do you say? Sanctuary Hills. That's the only one we're gonna really do anything with anyway. Maybe. Okay. Maybe this will be a fresh start. Alright, now I've done my good deed for the day. Uh, let's see. I need to eat and... Drink and sleep, and I don't think I'm anywhere near. Hmm, I wonder. Let's look at the map real quick. There is. I think it's right here. Let's see if we can make it there. 
I had to take some guys out. But uh, it's called Hangman's Alley. Hey there, I think. I think. Hey, hold on. Do you know something about the bases? Do all you outsiders wear such funny clothes? No. I thought he was running the bases because eventually you get told about it. If you run the bases, you get some something for it. But Oh, well. Alright, so let's go out, and we are going to... Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, we don't have to do that. We'll just rent a room. There we go. That's what we'll do. Alright, go in here, and... Tell me if you need a room, otherwise the bar is over there. Yep, I need a room. Here's your caps. Room two is yours. Enjoy. Danke. Is this two? Yep, this is two. Apparently I've stayed here before already, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and sleep. Uh, it's 10:22, so let's go with about 10 hours. Yeah, let's go with about nine hours. There we go. All right, so then now all I need to do is Nick, did you watch me sleep? That's creepy, buddy. Oh yeah, I forgot I got the uh, alien blaster. Cool. Um, food. One on a stick. Oh, I'm properly fed. Cool. All right, so let's look at water. Ooh, I don't have much water left on me, do I? Still parched and properly hydrated. So now I should be in good shape. Sweet. All right, Nick, you ready to hit the road, buddy? Let's we'll see if we can find our way to good neighbor. Have a nice day. Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. Yeah, and they're also a bunch of... Yeah. Just a bunch of people that think they're better than everybody else. All right. No now. Swatter, that's a real one. Am I going to... Yep, yeah, I am. Okay, so... We're going to head on up and out. Oh, man, it's raining again. <laughs> it's that one mod. It'll rain for like a week. <laughs> And it's a week, real time, not game time. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, that's pretty cool, though. Usually. Oh, well, yeah. Usually when they put uh, rain and stuff like that in games, uh, it rains inside, too. But that's, that's really cool. So it knows what's inside and what's outside for once. All right, so let's get our bearings. We need to go uh, this way. Because I think... No, that's combat zone. Th uh, good neighbors up there. Okay, so we just need to head to a northeasterly direction. So let's just do that. Whatever we... Uh, well, I think that's a magazine. So I'll tell you what. Let's set a marker right there. We'll just head that direction. And that marker is... Right there. That time we at. Okay. Alright, let's head over this way. Yeah, those... The markers, I, I guess, you know, someone might consider them cheats, but I played through the game. Damn it, this ain't Hangman's Alley, is it? No, 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 no. Somebody's over there. Is that a door? Ah, <gasps> oh, it is a door. What do you think? I don't know. Jump... Maybe we'll fight these guys. Got it. Well done. Gotta come down on the jet, I guess. Hmm? One you walk away. Eh. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't have it. Let's bring up the. And play around with it for a little while. Come on, where's that? Now where are those guys? I heard them. Oh, they're all up in here somewhere. Nope. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Crap, there's another turret. Where's the turret? Where are you at, Nick? Oh, and that truck's gonna blow up, Nick. Get out of there, dude. 
Where's the other? Mm. Well, I, how do I get to where they are? Is there no steps in here somewhere? Ah, there we go. Oh! He's, uh... Really high level or something. That's why the skull was next to his name. Awesome, okay. Uh, did that kill him? Okay, good. It didn't kill him. Alright, cool. There's a combat rifle, but now I'm waiting for Evans Way cul de sac key. Hmm. Don't know that I've ever gotten that before. Alright, so we're done there. So is there, is there a lock or something around here somewhere? Oh, I bet it opens that gate I just picked down there. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you wasn't still down there, Nick. I might have had to put you back together. <laughs> Mr. Tin Man. <laughs> Alright, well, that was a little intense for a very brief short second. And I didn't get in too bad of shape. I'm thirsty. So I guess I need to drink something here in just a second. Ooh, let's look at the goo piles. <laughs> uh, nah, nothing else there. Anybody else or anything else in here? No, not looking like it. Okay. Alright, well, this is the direction we need to go. I was thinking, though, where's the other bodies? Didn't... Sounds like the guys down there at uh, Diamond City are fighting off somebody. Probably some raiders or something coming through. Let's go through this door over here. Ah, eh, here, might as well get something to drink. And voila! Properly hydrated. Yep. Alright, so I thought I had to pick it if I'd come out here by myself, but. Or without killing that dude. Or trying to get in there. Okay, here's another red rocket. Sweet. You know, I've played this game a bunch of hours and quite a few different iterations. Nothing all the way through except for one time. I've only beaten the game one time, and that was with uh, the railroad. Didn't care if they actually. I've kind of seen or not seen them, but kind of been hinted around at what the other endings are. And to be totally honest with you, I'm not really satisfied with any of the endings or the way they do it because of the choices they give you. You, you don't really have a... There's no good choice. There's a few bad choices and there's a few... And all of them are kind of mediocre choices. Oh, so this could be a base of operations, but it's not a, uh, there isn't one of those workbenches, so, hmm. it sounds like a brotherhood's, uh, after somebody. They're going after somebody or something. Ooh, duct tape, duct tape. And I'm going to weigh myself down with overdue book. Although you can't turn in the library. Have we been there yet? No, we have not. Or, or have we? No, but the person who sends us there... The person who sends us there, though, uh, we haven't met yet. So, we will. We're heading that way. Kinda. Saw a big blue box here. <laughs> Ooh, right away. Yeah, we'll take that. Nope. Boy, they ain't going after somebody over there. I don't know if it's mutants or if it's raiders. Well, we're kind of, sort of, in a roundabout way getting ready to find out, I guess, because that's what I think where this marker goes. And no, it is not, uh, it's raiders. Okay. Please tell me it's raiders shooting at me and not. No. 
Come on, reload, reload. Come on, come on, stick your head out. Whoa. Oh, I almost killed him with one shot. There he is. So that's who the Brotherhood was going after. And I think there's actually somewhere for me to go down here, too. So, Nick, can you can you move, please? Thank you. I want to check out my goo piles here. <laughs> oh, don't start, Nick. He's my favorite companion, but every single one of them have something negative to say when you pick... No, I take it back. I forget which companion it is. There is a companion that doesn't criticize or say anything when you pick stuff up. Or, I mean, they say stuff, but they don't... You know, they don't say, Well, I guess somebody has a use for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? Okay. I'll let whoever that is. Well, no, what's going up here? 10 millimeter. Uh, okay. And that mod's working for Nick pretty good. He's still using that uh, 10 millimeter, automatic 10 millimeter, millimeter pistol. Oh. Wowzers. I bet you because it flew into that building and not because they someone shot it up. Huh. Oh well. <laughs> Having too much fun. Alright. Well, I'm glad I turned that rain down though because it's, it's, it, it's kind of like a perfect level for me now. It was way too loud when I first turned that mod on. Whew. Anybody still moving over here? All right, let's go check out the wreckage of that, uh, well, hold on, before we even do that, we're not really going to get anywhere, because we're pretty much at the end of the episode, but if I'm not mistaken, down here, there is, whoa, that thing blew up again, well, not in here, hold on, maybe it's over here, I'm wanting to say, the ha ha, there we go. There's a tunnel down here for us to go into. What we'll do is when we come back in the next episode, we'll go check this tunnel out. And we're just going to kind of meander through on our way up to uh, Good Neighbor. And as we go, we'll check out things left and right. And, you know, whatever shiny objects may <laughs> jump out at us, we'll just check them out. All right, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, it's been a while since I've gotten to play, and I'm, I'm glad to get back to playing this. I uh, played... Uh, quite a few episodes of Skyrim here uh, this past week. That's all I've been uploading. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping to get a little bit uh, uh, to where I, I'm doing both. And I'm releasing, you know, uh, kind of releasing them back to back instead of like all Skyrim or all uh, Fallout. So anyway, but uh, that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed and... Uh, can't wait to get back in the next episode and i'll see you then thanks for watching guys